Hey everybody, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil, and it's time to talk Avatar The Last Airbender. And we've just finished up a really fun two-parter journey to Ba Sing Se. We dismantled the evil Fire Nation drill that just penetrated the wall, but we the Fire Nation is defeated for the moment. And we can now enter this city, Ba Sing Se, that we've been talking about almost from the very beginning of the show without ever actually seeing this capital of the Earth Kingdom, the this impenetrable city, the one free city left in the world that the Fire Nation doesn't control, the city that Iroh laid siege to years ago and failed to conquer. We're finally here. The Yang Gang's inside. We can start the search for Appa. We can talk to the leaders of the, the Earth Kingdom, tell them about the solar eclipse and what that means for Fire Nation. And, and who knows what else? It's a big old city, I can only assume. So let's, let's learn about Bossing Say this episode. Let's see how Zuko deals with Jet and Jet's team and their suspicions that he's in fact a firebender. They're very founded suspicions. And uh, let's see what Azula's next step is. Yeah, I'm, I'm super curious to see where we go story-wise now. Will we find Appa in this episode? I hope we get that reunion. You would imagine a big air bison would be easily spotted, even in a big old city. So let's hope we get that reunion and let's jump into it, guys. This is episode 14 of season two, The City of Walls and Secrets. Oh, we're on the train too. Okay. I can't believe we finally made it to Bossing Say in one piece. Hey, don't jinx it. We could still be attacked by some giant exploding Fire Nation spoon. You've been yep. hitting the cactus juice again? I'm just saying. Cactus weird stuff juice. Happens to us. It does. <laughs> Speaking of weird stuff. He's a giant bison. Where could someone possibly hide him? I'm with Sokka. But let's see how big this city is. Okay, it's big. Oh. Cool. Back in the city. Great. Just a bunch of walls and rules. You wait. You'll get sick of it in a couple of days. I'm coming for you, buddy. <laughs> Hello! My name is Judy. I have been given the great honor of showing the Avatar around Ba Sing Se. Someone knows a lot about them. We have information about the Fire Nation Army that we need to deliver to the Earth King immediately. Great! Let's begin our tour, and then I'll show you to your new home here. Judy? The smile's creeping me out. You're in Ba Sing Se now. Everyone is safe here. Why do they have all these poor people blocked off in one part of the city? This is why I never came here before. I always heard it was so different from the way the monks taught us to live. Segregated. I just want our new place to look nice in case someone brings home a lady friend. <laughs> the city is a prison. Look at them. Firebenders living right under everyone's nose. I thought we were starting over here, changing our ways. We are. When I get the evidence I need, I'll report them to the police and let them handle it. Okay, that seems to be more reasonable. We met a professor from Boston State University. He took us to an ancient underground library where we discovered information about the war that is absolutely crucial for the king to hear. Her smile creeps me out. Town Hall. Is that woman deaf? She only seems to hear every other word I say. It's called being handled. Get used to it. You certainly look like official tea servers. How do you feel? Ridiculous. Uh, They're working at Starbucks. They come in a larger size. <laughs> this tea is nothing more than hot leaf juice. Hot leaf okay. juice. That's what all tea is. The upper ring is home to our most important citizens. Your house is not too far from here. Uh, the life of privilege. What's inside that wall? The king. 
Ooh. And who are the mean looking guys in robes? Those men are agents of the Dai Li, the cultural authority of Ba Sing Se. The cultural authority? Can we see the king now? Oh no! Never. One doesn't just pop in on the Earth King. <laughs> Your request for an audience with the Earth King is being processed and should be put through in about a month. Six to eight weeks, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, this is frustrating. If we're gonna be here for a month, we should spend our time looking for Appa. I'll be happy to escort you anywhere you'd like to go. We don't need a babysitter. To leave you alone <laughs> would make me a bad host. Where shall we start? Oh. <laughs> oh, she's so frustrating. I'm sorry, but I haven't heard anything about a flying bison. Where's the black market? Who runs it? Come on, you know. Uh... <laughs> and which of your professors could we ask about the war with the Fire Nation? Uh... Okay, now let's go exploring. Oh no. You're the Avatar. Is he another smiler? Why is everyone here so scared to talk about the war? War? Scared? What war? What do you mean? <laughs> I can feel you shaking. You can't mention the war here. And whatever you do, stay away from the Dai Li. The Dai Li's the cultural ruler? Is that the same as the king? Have you seen our spark rocks to heat up the water? They're not there. You'll have to fire bend, old man. More spark rocks. I borrowed our neighbors. Damn it! The king is having a party at the palace tonight for his pet bear. You mean platypus bear? No, it just says bear. Certainly you mean his pet skunk bear. Or his armadillo bear. No. Go for bear? Just a bear. Just bear. <laughs> this place I love that is they're weird. Yeah. <laughs> I love that they're making fun of themselves. A real society crowd would spot you a mile away. You've got no manners. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm mastering every element. How hard can manners be? Oh, okay. Avatar egg, how you do go on? <laughs> <laughs> you two would be lucky to pass as bus boys. But I feel so fancy. Earth fire! Ah! Earth beats fire? Wow, you look beautiful. Don't talk to the commoners, Katara. <laughs> Emperor Momo. This is the best tea in the city. The secret ingredient is love. <laughs> I'm tired of waiting. These two men are firebenders! Okay, they're just coming straight out and saying Drop your swords, boy. Nice and easy. You'll have to defend yourself. Then everyone will know. He doesn't need to. You want a show? I'll give you a show. Okay, let's just have a sword fight. Oh, we're just freeze framing and cutting out of it. Interesting. No entry without an invitation. Wow, that didn't work. Do you think you could help us? Our family's inside and I'm sure they're very worried. I am honored. Please come with me. <laughs> okay, who's, who's this guy? Oh, it's just a bear. It's beautiful, isn't it? By the way, I'm Long Feng. I'm a cultural minister to the king. I'm Hua Mei, and this is Dung. Now, where is your family? I'd love to meet them. I'm sure we'll find them soon. Thanks for all your help. As your escort, it would be dishonorable to abandon you ladies without finding your family first. We'll keep looking. Toph said we might pass as busboys. Okay, but remember that Momo ghost plan. I think it's a winner. <laughs> Fight's not you over must yet. I'm tired of using those swords. With the slow mo. Oh no! It's, it's straw! Just keep an eye out for the king. I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> you know, royal. That could be anyone. Yeah. Another crab puff, please. You found us. What are you doing here? You have to leave immediately or we'll all be in terrible trouble. 
Not until we see the king. You must go. Uh, uh. Ah! Oh! Everybody, yeah. well, the bear likes the act. <laughs> this young man wrecked my tea shop and assaulted my employees. It's true, sir. We saw the whole thing. Come with us, son. <laughs> oh. You don't understand! They're Fire Nation! You have to believe me! Uh, oh. Jet imprisoned. Is this the king, I'm assuming? Greetings, Your Majesty! <gasps> Let me go! Oh. Oh! Avatar, it is a great honor to meet you. I am Long Feng. Yeah. I'd like to talk to you. She's the Dai Li. So we're Why yet would you to let meet... us talk to the king? We have information that could defeat the Fire Nation. The Earth King has no time to get involved with political squabbles and the day-to-day minutiae of military activities. Is there even a king? This could be the most important thing he's ever heard. This guy's giving off major Jafar vibes. So the king is just a figurehead. He's your puppet. You could lead an invasion. Enough. I don't want to hear your ridiculous plan. It is the strict policy of Ba Sing Se that the war not be mentioned within the walls. They're firebenders. They won't stop until they win the war. Calm down. You're safe now. Our peaceful way of life, our traditions would disappear. There's no war in Ba Sing Se. Wow, we're hypnotizing. What are you talking about? Ba Sing Se remains a peaceful, orderly utopia. The last one on Earth. It's just a city in denial. There is no war within the walls. Here we are safe. Here we are free. You can't keep the truth from all these people. I'll make sure everyone knows. Until now, you've been treated as our honored guest. I understand you've been looking for your bison. It would be quite a shame if you were not able to complete your quest. Well, now Judy will show you home. He absolutely knows where Appa is. Come with me, please. And I'll use what Appa to, to negotiate. I'm Judy. I'll be your host as long as you're in our wonderful city. Oh, the new Judy. This is... Oh, this is creepy. Ah! Uh, okay, so Ba Sing Se is not what I expected at all. It's a dystopian nightmare. It's a city in denial ruled by a grand vizier and mind control. Like, do we even know for sure that there is a king, or is there just a, a figurehead that never actually is seen by the public? We, we've got this, this head of the Dai Li, who's basically the grand vizier of the city. He, he controls all the day-to-day minutia, including, you know, the the running of the military. But the, yeah, it's a city in denial. It puts up walls, literally and figuratively, and it's illegal to mention the war inside the city. So everyone just pretends it doesn't exist. Don't, don't explain why soldiers leave and never come back. Don't explain why there's refugees. Let's all just pretend it's not happening because heaven forbid the... The, the, the residents get uh, stressed out. Man. And there are Dai Li agents everywhere. Th these Judies. If one screws up, then another will take their place. Uh, it's so frustrating because no one's going to... If, if you've constantly got a, a, a Judy right, right behind you, monitoring your every move helping you explore the city, then you're never going to find any real information about Appa, and you're never going to have an audience with the king. You're never going to have anyone, and, and it's clearly the Grand Vizier, I'm going to keep calling him that because 
why not? Um, he he has no interest in this information about the solar eclipse. The the Earth Kingdom isn't fighting back at this point. The Earth Kingdom, in the form of Bossing Say at least, is just pretending the war doesn't exist. And the rest of the Earth Kingdom, which is occupied by the Fire Nation, can can fight back wherever it can. And it appears like there is literal mind control when we see what happened in Jet. Jet was arrested for false, falsely accusing Zuko and Iroh of being firebenders. He's arrested, he's taken into custody, and then the this spinning light seems to be having a hypnotic effect on him. We haven't seen that it works for sure, but that certainly seems to be the intent that there is no war in Bossing Say. There nothing to worry about here. Carry on. Um yeah. Not what I expected at all from Bossing Say. Because up to now, for a se more than a season and a half, whenever we go somewhere new, we immediately have an audience with the general in charge or the ki the local king or the high priest or whoever it is we need to talk to. That's never been a challenge up to now. And and you 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 feel like oh that that's just sort of the rhythm of the story. Let's expedite the story and get our get the Ang gang immediately in front of whoever they need to be in front of to progress the plot. And now that we can't do that, it just feels especially jarring because yeah, normally you know you walk into a new city, it's like I'd like to see the king. Well, you know that's not necessarily going to happen right away. But if that's happened every time up to now. When it doesn't happen, it feels especially like an especially real obstacle all of a sudden. Uh, so I'm I'm fascinated by this city. I I like that it's messed up. I like that there is something really sinister at work, and that it has nothing to do with the Fire Nation at all. It has everything to do with this this messed up Earth city. It it just further um, reinforces the idea that there's no pure good and pure evil in this show. As uh, you know, the, the, there's there's flaws everywhere, including in our main characters. But also, we're 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 finding adversaries and obstacles in places we wouldn't necessarily expect them. And so, yeah, man, it's it's. it's it's really clever storytelling. I'm super curious to see where it goes next. We're running out of episodes this season. I mean, we've still got six episodes, but we're we're getting into the home stretch. And like, does the rest of the season take place here in Bossing Say? How long are we going to spend here? It feels like we're going to be stuck here for a while if our objectives of finding Appa and speaking to the king remain unmet and um, I mean it's pretty much a guarantee that the Grand Vizier knows where Appa is and probably has Appa captured and and can use Appa to control Aang. Um, it would be a shame if something happened to your beloved pet slash companion wouldn't it? So don't go ask don't go spreading lies about the war Man, yeah, it's it's super interesting, and I'm I'm so impressed with this show. I'm just really, really impressed, and I can't wait for next week. Next week's going to be a blast because we're going to spend more time in this city and learn a lot more about it. And you know, we wouldn't have gotten the tour of this city early on about you know the the the, the segregated poor section of the city, how it's all very much tiered and controlled and at the center is this walled-off palace that no one could possibly get into. And I, I genuinely wonder whether there even is a king. Hmm. Until next week, everybody. Take care. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers.